In this video, we want to take a look at the timeline in Easy Video Lab 2. The timeline is anchored at the bottom of the user interface, and you can see that there's a little divider right here. If I hover over it, I can actually click and drag on that to expand that if I have more layers that I need to look at. The time is represented along the top here. You'll see that there are some additional controls here. Uh, we'll look at those in a second, but the time is represented here. The bigger numbers are seconds. The smaller numbers are uh, parts, uh, tenths of seconds. If I zoom out enough, uh, I'll, we'll talk about zooming out in a second here with the keyboard shortcuts, but you'll see that those will go away. Um, so we have the ability to control the playback right here. We have rewind, we have play, we have pause, and this option will jump to the end. And uh, there are keyboard shortcuts for that. Spacebar uh, will toggle play, and if I uh, hit spacebar again, it'll pause, so that can I just can go back and forth uh, pausing and playing. We have command or control, a less than sign will rewind. Greater than sign will jump to the end. The zoom out features are right here. We can zoom in or out on the timeline. Uh, I, if I hold the command or control, a left arrow will zoom out, and right arrow will zoom in. I can hold them down to make that go faster. Along the left hand side we see uh, the representations of each uh, layer. Uh, so we have animations, we have video, and we have audio. Uh, controls up here allow you to add additional layers. So I can add an additional animation layer for example. The remove option will only remove any empty layers. Now it will always leave at least one video and audio layer. So you see there that when I hit remove and it was set to animation, it just removed that empty animation layer. So each of the blocks here uh, has uh, are context sensitive. It contains the information for that animation or video or audio. Now, the duration isn't necessarily the full duration. You can see there that I've got this selected. And if I move the playback head, and we'll talk about that in a second, and this is this line right here represents the combination of the the text animation, those two image animations, and the video. And even though the block appears to have ended, there are options for remain visible, or uh, there's also uh, leave on stage is another option. And for video, it will be show. So uh, again, it will it'll show the combination of all these uh, here on the, the stage. And so I can click on the playback head to uh, scrub back and forth. If I click on the timeline, it'll jump to that position. And up here in the upper left-hand corner, it represents the time that we're at. So you can see if I go to about five seconds, it will represent that, or six seconds, pardon me, it'll represent that here on the timeline. Now we have additional controls here, such as the ability to snap, split, freeze frame, duplicate, and delete. For example, if I click on this video right here and split it, I can have uh, split the, that video into two. You can have more than one item on a layer, so I can have multiple uh, animations on one layer, multiple videos on one layer, multiple audio on one layer, or I can have them on separate layers. You can also drag them between layers, so for example if I add an additional video layer here, I can drag this video down or again back up. Now the snap option, if I turn this on, I want to have uh, my, I want to click on the block left to the center if I want to snap it to something to the left, or right of the center if I want to snap it to something to the right. I'll just go ahead and click on this and just get pretty close, and it'll snap it into position there. Freeze frame, we'll add a freeze frame here at the end of a video, and a duplicate, uh, we'll duplicate the block and add it at the end as well. That is the basics of working with, oh, I almost forgot there is one more thing. If I select a layer here, the stacking order is not necessarily represented uh, here as uh, in terms of the topmost thing is not always on the top. That's going to be controlled by the stacking order. I can control click on something to, to uh, get some stacking order options, or you have the ability to click on this little icon up here, and that will give you the ability to uh, stack things. You can also rotate things here. We'll take a look at that in separate videos. But um, that is, now that is the basics of working with the, the timeline in Easy Video Lab. One final word, Easy Video Lab 2 is designed primarily as a scene editor. It shines when you're working with scenes less than 30 seconds. You can, however, work with videos longer than that. It is recommended, though, that you render out any scenes with animation layers. And then if you're working with a longer video, just work with video and audio only, leaving animation layers out to, to make it less complex. 
Um, it is much better, and there are programs out there like Camtasia, ScreenFlow, uh, Final Cut Pro, Sony uh, Premiere, and some, or Sony Vegas Pro, or Adobe Premiere. Uh, that are designed more for doing video compositing. Another option is HitFilm Express, which is free. Um, but again, all of those that, that can be done, and we'll actually show that in a tutorial, but um, uh, it's not specifically designed for that. Um, it, Easy Video Lab is designed to make scenes quickly and easily, and then you can, again, you can combine them either with Easy Video Lab or another program. And uh, we, we'll just go ahead and say that we recommend programs that are more specifically designed for that. The process will go faster for you, and they are uh, designed to be more robust. Easy Video Lab uh, shines when you're working with scenes 30 seconds or less.